All right, today we are gonna be building our power function car. This is the first version, and I'm just following my building instructions. So we are going to start with one of the medium motors. We're gonna take the two black pins and we're gonna go in a vertical alignment, so above and below the motor there. We are going to take our short axle, this is length three, and we're gonna stick it all the way in, and it should be sticking out further than the black pins. All right, next, we're gonna take our triangle lift arms, and we are going to stick it in so that the pin goes on the top and bottom, and we're gonna do both of them. So we're gonna double stack them just like this. Perfect. Okay, next, we are gonna take our notched axle length two. You kinda wanna hold your thumb or something behind it and then push just so it doesn't come sticking. We don't want it sticking too far out. So it's kinda easy if you just kinda Hold one finger on the other side and just kind of push in. All right, next we're gonna take one of our bevel gears and we are gonna put that right there on the axle. Okay, step number five. We have these pin to axle perpendiculars and we're gonna put it so that the holes are going above, whoops, sorry, like that. We don't want them uh, flipping the other way. They need to come up like this. So we're gonna put both of them on just like this. All right, now step number six is a little tricky because we have to take this and we're gonna put it right in here. And in order to do that, we kind of have to hold it in place. So I'm gonna use my thumb and index finger to hold this gear in place. And then I'm gonna take my long black axle length 10 and we're gonna go through that first hole and you might need to kind of twist it a little bit so that it, it gets into uh, the little grooves, the axle grooves, and then we're gonna push it all the way through. So when we're done, we have this, and it doesn't quite matter, we're gonna adjust these in a little bit, and there should be a little give to this right here. Okay, but our bevel gear should be interlocking, and because our motor is off, uh, we shouldn't be able to rotate the axle, okay? Now moving on, so step number seven is we're gonna kind of set this guy aside and we're gonna take our long uh, length 15 lift arm. We're gonna take two of our uh, longer blue pins and we're gonna stick them in like this. Notice how you have the little stop. That's gonna go in first and that way when I push, they don't go through. So they're sticking out like this. That was in the second and fourth hole and then over on the other side, we're gonna take two black pins, skip the first hole, and do the second and third, like this. Okay, now step eight, we're gonna hold our motor so that the gears are in front of the motor, and then these two black pins are gonna attach right into these holes right here. So the axle goes through the first, the open lift arm hole, and then goes in, and you might need to kind of wiggle it just a little bit into place, just like this. All right, step number nine, and we're gonna start to kind of pull this cord out of the way. We're gonna take our one by five lift arm, and it's gonna go right here, and we're gonna put it right on the end so that it is aligned with our white, just like this. Okay, step number 10, we are taking our battery pack. Uh, I'm gonna do it, it doesn't really matter if you do it this way or this way, it, I mean, it doesn't. I'm gonna do it this way just so that the, the gear switch is on the other side and actually I'm gonna flip it like this. So I have it where the switch is down, the connector is above, and then I'm just going to attach it here at the end. And so this is kind of what it looks like. So we've got the switches in the back rather than in the front. All right, now that this is on, step 11 says kind of rotate the view. So we're looking at it this way, and we're gonna stick two of our black, our, sorry, our blue length three pins in, just like this. We're basically mirroring the other side. So then step nine, or I'm sorry, step 12 is another of the one by fives. Put that on, all right. And then step 13, we're gonna take two of our black pins and we're gonna put these up on front like this. And then step 14 is we're gonna connect it all together. So just like on the other side, the first hole 
the axle goes through and then it might kind of do this see how these ones went in before this that's fine um, you might need to kind of move it around just a little bit jiggle it around until it goes all the way in just like this all right now we're gonna attach all of our wheels so we're gonna do the back wheels first and we're gonna take these tan these are frictionless pinned axles and see how they can just kind of spin so not the blue ones we want the tan ones and we're gonna put one on either side on the last hole and then we're gonna take our wheels and we're gonna do uh, the flat side not the concave side so put those on both sides and then I always like to test them so I take my finger and I run it and there should be a little spin after my finger leaves the wheel and that way I know that these there's not going to be a lot of friction and it's easier to fix this now than after we've built the whole thing all right so we've got our back wheels now we're going to do our front wheels same thing concave side facing out and it if we push and it kind of gets stuck it might push our axle all the way through so just kind of take one finger on the other side and it's okay to leave a little bit of wiggle room we don't want it where we are pushing it so hard in that there's so much friction so we don't want there to be a ton of friction we want there to be a little bit of give and actually this is the first troubleshoot if your car doesn't seem to go or it seems to go very slow or makes a grinding sound it's probably because you push the wheels on too hard all right moving on so step number 18 we're now going to attach our infrared receiver to the top and we're going to start by taking our two pin to axle and these are the blue ones and you'll notice these don't spin as easily as those tan ones, okay? Next, we are gonna take uh, our little connectors with the hole, and we're gonna stick those in so that the holes are facing kind of backwards. We're gonna take our last two black pins and stick those into uh, the little connectors so they're facing back, and then you'll notice that on the receiver, we have these two holes and you just gotta kind of, it's gonna be a little tricky cause they're gonna move on you and stuff, but eventually you'll get it set. All right, now we gotta make our connections. So the infrared receiver cable goes into the battery pack. So we're gonna push this onto the battery pack. And if you turn the battery pack on, you'll see there's a little green light that turns on and off. So that's how you know that that's connected. And then the motor, cable we're gonna plug into our infrared receiver and it doesn't matter which color so I'm just gonna do blue and there we go make sure that the battery pack is turned on we have a green light and we're good to go all right now we take our controller and because I plugged it into blue I'm on the blue side and if I push up oh I noticed that it went backwards so one fix that we can do is you have this little switch right here and that inverts uh, forwards and backwards for the motors. So when I press up now, now it moves forwards, backwards is backwards. And if this isn't working, if for whatever reason you're pressing and nothing's happening, just double check that the numbers are the same so that the number here is on one and this is on one. If this is on four, See, nothing's happening. But if I move this down to four, now it works. So just make sure that the numbers are aligned and then you can fix the, uh, if it's inverted, you can fix it right here. All right, we made our first car.